Hi, my name is Sanjay Osta. I'm an ex-journalist. Well, they say um, once a journalist, always a journalist. But I'm happy to say I'm an ex. So the reason I say that is because journalism gave me an opportunity to travel across the world. I've traveled to places, I've seen things, I've been to beautiful places. So that is where the idea came to me to start my own venture, own um, you know boutique homestays over here in Himalayas because I was living in this beautiful place and I thought that you know I want visitors to visit this place and see for themselves, experience it. And uh, so I started this in 2017, and that is when I um, you know started with my first property. in shimla and subsequently this one here in ratnadi and this was started uh, with the idea that people get a experiential kind of an experience coming here and being amidst the farm animals picking their own vegetables and berries and fruits and giving them a kind of an experience that you can't get even in a very posh five star hotel when you get up in the morning you see those cultural motifs in your room rather than have a homogenous kind of international experience for travelers for luxury is very important because people are coming very far out this is an off beat location they're coming so far out they want to relax they want all kinds of amenities and that is the challenge for you to give all these amenities that you have in any good hotel in even in this far flung area When we started our properties in 2017 we um, you know announced that we're going to give discounts to writers journalists painters and people like that well uh, over the last couple of years we have stopped giving discount to journalists but to writers and painters yes the idea behind this is simple that so that we get you know creative people to come and experience our place you know have fun over here and you know so that they have the creative juices flowing over here and they can get inspired So we have picked up a couple of awards. We picked up a couple of awards actually in the first year of our opening. Um, one of the most of them have been related to our eco-friendly practices. Uh, one of them was from Oklo Traveler, and the other one came from Make My Trip. And you know, it's not really about the award. Awards obviously encouraging because it lets you, it encourages you to keep on going because maintaining an eco-friendly farm stay is not very easy. This is a high altitude Himachali countryside. Now, if you're coming this far, obviously, I mean, you want to, you want your guests to have a sampling of the kind of food that you've been traditionally eating, and that's what our guests look for. For example, our Himachali siddhu that we uh, give our guests, which they really savor, and for example, the bhadu dal or the bhadu chicken, which is slow cooked over a slow flame, which is slow cooked uh, over several hours uh, traditionally, and these are the kind of memories that people make and the associations that they build through food. personally interested in astronomy and i am living in a place which has beautiful clear skies you know in astronomy you have a brutal scale which ranges from 1 to 9 1 being very clear 9 being something like what you have in pompeii or delhi perhaps very light polluted skies so over here the brutal scale is 2 so you can see the andromeda galaxy for example with the naked eye you can see lot of stars it's like a twinkling of stars throughout the idea obviously is to give our guests an experience that they can't get elsewhere so i invested in this huge telescope which is the largest privately owned telescope in india and we have one two sessions at night and people you know when they look at the, the rings of saturn for the first time this is the memory that they cannot forget Now if you're a farm stay or if you're a hotel and if you're in a rural setting like this I think it's your obligation it's your duty to make sure that your house is sustainable 
so that you're not sucking away the resources away from the local community. For example, water. So you should have water harvesting in place, for example. And at Mina Park Homes, we uh, invite the local community and talk about, um, if, um, you know, reforestation. We involve local communities in um, tree plantations and we make, we give some kind of awareness in terms of how we can avoid the usage of plastic, for example, and how we can harvest rain water. Yes, we are an inclusive property and why not? Because you're, you're, if you're in the hospitality unit, how can you be excluding? How can you exclude anybody? So be it LGBT community, be it pets of all kinds, everybody is welcome at Meenabha Homes.